I'm a beast, I'm a creature, I'm a monster Hey. hey, what's good? We here. Activated, motherfucker. What's poppin'? Everyone. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Just trying to make sure it's running. All right, yeah. we here. Episode 10, number 10. Motherfucker, yes! Number 10, we and here. We, we making moves, We though. at a new place. We excited. Yeah. We here. You know Flex what I'm saying? Flexing on them one time. Flexing on them. You know what I'm saying? Activated. You know I'm what I'm saying? Huge. On my Xbox. Big move. Like, biggest Flex. move we made. You feel me? <laughs> Four months in, five months in, and we here, baby. 10 episodes. All right. Tell Sponsor. Them, tell them what's good. Hey, man. So you got the Activated Podcast, sponsored by Strictly Lit Entertainment. Film you know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know, Six Side. You already know what it is. One time. But yeah, man. So we here. Um, <laughs> new in our... What, you want to introduce it? Yeah, introduce yeah. Introduce yourself no, first. We, we, and then we, we, uh, we'll tell them the backstory. You smell me. Yeah, yeah. So as y'all already know... Um, I've talked about this, you know, on numerous Many times. episodes. Yeah. Episodes, you a know. lot of times. I told y'all, I told y'all he was coming. <laughs> I told y'all was coming, and now, now he's here. So, um, without further ado, I like to present to y'all um, Xavier Isaiah, man. Hello, bro. <laughs> I'm right here. Uh, long awaited, but pretty ugly. I'm just pretty. Uh, it's Xavier. Um, I'm out here with these guys. What do you do? I make music. I produce. I sing. I dance. Uh, I just like having fun. You whenever. dance? Yeah, I do all I didn't that know shit. That yeah, <laughs> kind of move a little bit. You feel? But um, you know, it's just we had a very, very dope point in uh, a lot of people's careers right now. It's Hell a yeah! Really, really sick part of. Uh, a scene that we're building up here in San Diego. And we here. Mm, fast, you know what I mean? Bro. It's crazy. Hey, it's crazy. like this you can feel it in the air. This shit's lit. Yeah, yeah bro. The, the vibrations is, is all around. Everyone's atoms is just on sync, bro. We're in the same frequency. Oh, San Diego. Oh, San Diego. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I think they need a them. scene. This they is this it. is like it. Like you could feel it. I mean, LA is right there, bro. I don't understand why, like, and San you got it, TJ, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It it doesn't make sense to me. Like, there should be a hub, like a hub for entertainment in San Diego, but there's really not. You know what I'm saying? For like artists and people to come and create. But it's like here. But there's a lot of <laughs> artists here. Dude. Yeah. It's, it's here. If, if people, if we could all get on the same page yeah. you know i mean if you yeah. bring in the right people the right people connect and everybody vibes like it's a rap yeah it's big yeah, strictly man. it you feel me we out this here we lit. out here yeah. close yeah. to the border lit. really you know close. what i'm saying probably one of the closest studios to the border in america but For let's real. talk about the you know but what i'm saying them prices yeah. though them prices is what's gonna get people man you, Come out here, you really yeah. get a uh, bang for your buck, bro. Mm -hmm. So really good service. Shit, businessman. So you all trying to like open I said, business though, out here? Come out here. We like close, I said, though, we are strictly lit. Strictly lit. You know, we got JY Productions. You know, we got Tonic Music. We got Zanny. Yeah. Zanny, where the bar is at. We got producers. We got studios, man. As you can see, we got the podcast and shit, too. It's so like, like a multimedia just center. like powerhouse, bro. Yeah, it's man. Just, we got photographers, videographers. And man, we got all that, man. And it's a lot of people. Management, day, marketing. Though. We got some apparel, man. Like, <clears throat> hey. Like a lot of artists from day Videographers. Go. Yeah. Did you say that? Sorry. You said but there's also a lot of. Did also, I say it right? Yeah. I, did you say that? I don't know. Yeah, I videographers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Shout that. out to anybody. Shout out Deleon. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah, we got a lot getting, of people. Like, just a lot of artists come through here, hey. man. A lot of Bro. artists, and all, and like I think the only reason why uh, a a lot of a lot of people are are really fucking with like what we're starting to do and. And we're being on such a like high demographic. It's because the 
people that were connected with like Watt has built a legacy for himself in San Diego ever since he moved out here from Detroit. And it's always like I'm not like talking shit about <laughs> my bad. <laughs> it's, and it's always like um I'm not talking <laughs> shit about like the home people here, you know what I mean? But like it's a lot of people that come from out of town that yeah. have a lot of aspirations and they kind of like yeah. Take charge and, and and have an easier time, you know, um, doing what they want. You feel what I'm saying? Because they're not from around here, and they're tr- and that's the yeah. only thing they have. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's their passion and their craft. Yeah, I feel like um, San Diego is like a hub for people to come and like who aren't from here and shit, and to just like get together. And then this like kind of represents that, you know, everybody's from a different place and shit. Yeah, that's definitely. It's fucking at strictly lit. You know what I'm saying? And so. I and like it's just it's it, at its infancy so june it, it 1st, just feels right? good june it, 1st is the yeah grand june opening. 1st um uh, no, no 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 i no. believe it's uh june 2nd now june it's 2nd. gonna be saturday uh you know we want yeah. everybody to come through and not have to worry about working and shit like that that's smart but um you know additional details are coming uh there's gonna everybody. be a lot of shit that yeah like, yeah i'm gonna be playing a lot of my music for people we're gonna be playing a lot of beats we're gonna be showcasing a lot of shit a lot of people are gonna be coming here blowing on who good fucking playing yeah pool. man we got that hookah lounge on deck too <laughs> and the boobs are gonna be like 100 percent made we're all gonna have foam in them like we're gonna have foam in our everything's gonna be on tip top shape like we are like in a soft opening to get like business jump started but those are people who we really fuck with you like those are people who are like doing hours that they you know need to redo at sessions they had before and shit but like the point is you feel them saying like every day every week it's a new thing for us you feel yeah. what i'm saying every week it's a new it's a new project it's a new um all right cool we gotta do this we gotta do that we gotta do that you know what i mean it's always forward it's always forward everybody and like i think that's just the mentality in california in yeah. general like yeah in general everyone just like, needs yeah what's the next thing like on the fucking list yeah, yeah you know what i mean and in other places in the world like it's not really like that especially outside of america like it's yeah, we live life. a yeah. fast yeah. life. You, yeah, you're you not from California either. We no, always talk about this. And it's so different, It's, it's bro. like this, bro. Everybody's so gone. Different. And you got to be on your toes. Yeah, because I'm, all, from, at all I'm, time. From, I'm from, from Arizona. Yeah, so, so you too. Yeah. It's 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 a lot of people, but it's small. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And a lot of yeah. people say San Diego is small. And I'm sitting here like, mm. what the yeah, fuck? San Diego is well, huge, the thing bro. Is, is San Diego, the city, has like 1.3 million. And then the whole county has like 3.5 million. Plus you add TJ. Yeah. There's like 7 million people all fucking like it's in the, a small space. Space. It's ninth, yeah. small. ninth, oh, uh, in the top ten. Eighth, eighth. Is it eighth? San, San Diego eighth. City's the eighth biggest city. Oh, is it eighth now? Huge. Yeah. I remember when I first moved here in 2015. It was nine. Yeah, so that's crazy. That's up. a trip. That Bro, just trips me. But out. compare it to like China. China, like eight of the cities in out of the top ten, like most populated in the world, are from China. Twenty five million in one city. Bro. What Bro, it really fuck? be looking that's like the TV. That's crazy. It really be looking like how it be on TV, where it's like, see, like, in one picture, it'll look like it's like five thousand people walking. It's probably really like that. Like you got no personal bubble over yeah. there. That my uncle, cause Damn. he he this lives there. Sucks. My uncle and my grandpa live there, and like. They be like on top of each other <laughs> in line and shit. Like, like hey, bro. nut to nut, you know? <laughs> yeah. Can nut we get a quarter butt. pounder real quick? <laughs> nut to butt. No, nut to nut, too. Nah, <laughs> nah. Oh, <no>. Pause, <laughs> homie. Pause on the podcast real quick. <laughs> bro, but they yeah. used to make us do that shit. Not that nut to nut shit, but. Ugh, oh, in the yeah. military? Yeah, like when we had to sit on a bench. We had to like straddle it, and then they be, they literally would say, yeah. "Nut to butt." Yeah, nut to butt, bro. Damn. Butt to butt, <laughs> bro. bro. I'm thinking. He said military. I'm thinking like, damn, military. I mean, that's a whole nother yeah. like world, bro. Yeah. bro. yeah, but that shit, that shit, yeah. Like I, 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 that that shit was so weird. There was yeah, I, not, 
I feel like I but feel like honestly that was only at the beginning in basic training. I've never yeah. done that. You never since went then. butt to butt. Again. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> My bad. He looked at this food dead ass with like the most. <laughs> hey, one more face. again. Hey, hold up. He's like one more again. Hey, run it back. Yeah, run it back. Run run one more back. again. <laughs> but nah. Um. Nah, real shit. Back to this strictly lit shit. Um, cause it's lit. Tell him about hey. it. What hey. is it? Because we haven't even said what it is. We're just hey, shooting. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. It's a place where if you don't want your producer all in the video, <laughs> all on your songs, <laughs> come to death row. <laughs> yeah, just fucking with you. But, nah, but um, shit, you want Xavier, bro? You yeah. want to you tell yeah, him what it is? Yeah, right, strictly lit, bro. It's like, <sighs> it's here to, you know what I mean, give artists uh, a a platform that they, you know, don't really have in a sense, you know, um, where you got somebody that's going to fuck with you and it's going to ha- have your back and it's going to, you know what I mean, manage you and, and help you, you know, find the best route in your best interest, you feel what I'm saying? And I think that's what Strictly Lit is. This is just like a powerhouse for entertainment, like a lot of dope, people coming together to you know mm-hmm. push forward you know a, a, a an idea for cultivation and, and to inspire others around them i know that sounds mm-hmm. weird but like no nah, i feel for that. real like we trying to follow that. our dreams so we can lead by example you feel yeah. what i'm saying like a lot of people that i know they don't follow their dreams man and they're it's stuck true. they're stuck in their own world Mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying and that brings me back to like everything at home like you know when i when i look at home it's just like i did so much to you know put myself you know in a better position you know no just put myself in everyone's like you know view you feel like perspective like i was i made myself like I just have some sort of notoriety in where I come from and like especially in in my high school especially in you know a lot of other high schools a lot of people know me for the for the music I make and I feel like I fucking worked hard for that shit like I really worked hard for that shit yeah. like I s- sleepless nights, mm-hmm. fucking learn, trying to learn how to produce, fucking you know. This fool, you were sleeping right now. Yeah, <laughs> real, honey, shit, three this hours was of sleep. Out I was in the like, studio. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the life is, man. But that's some shit. Like, um, like I feel like uh, famous or rags to riches. Like artists talk about it as like, oh yeah, like I was sleeping in the studio and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you really, but you have like, to live it and breathe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like my point is, is like the the state of mind of other people when you go back home and it you realize how stagnant and how much the same it is. Yeah, and like when you yeah, change, yeah, 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 yeah. When you, when you, when you go you back, change, yeah, when, yeah, when you change your environment and the people around you, uh-huh, and you uh-huh. start realizing the uh-huh. the different, you know, uh, fruits of the labor that yeah. you start to receive. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And you kind of just like sit back and you're like, damn, like I'm kind of happy with the moves I made. Because I feel like they benefited me like ten times better if yeah. I would have stayed in the same position. Doing I feel the, the same, same way. Shit. Yeah, I feel. The shout same out way to same my way. boy Eddie. You feel me? Just one time. One yeah, time. Shout, shout out Eddie, Eddie one time. What's hey, up, what's Eddie? Poppin'? You already know. Hey, we gonna get you on the podcast, Eddie. You feel me? We gonna get you on here. But yeah, all right. Back to what you were saying. So I feel the same way because you, when you leave and you experience something way different and you go back. And you see, oh, everybody's doing the, the same, same shit. shit. Like, it's the same exact thing. It's like, the same and blueprint. See, yeah. yeah. And you see, you're like, oh, well, like, in my mind, in order to grow, you have to move away from where yes. you were. Yes. Like, yes. at yes. least oh, for a little all bit. You know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's all you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It, it It's rare. It happens for some people f- to stay, but like... You I was afraid. Leave. I yeah. was afraid to leave. Like, bro, that's just my honest, like, my honest, like, real, real feelings about it. I didn't want to leave Tucson. I love Tucson. Like, yeah. I love the heat. Like, 
I love going to fucking 12th and Drake to go and chill in that Mission Manor Park. Yeah. We then going across the street, you know what I mean? Going to my mom's house. I, I, I remember so much. I lived so much of my life in Tucson. And I have, like, so many happy moments and, like, shit. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? But, like, there's also a lot of evil in that city. Yeah. Because yeah. the only, like, I say it in a lot, I say it in a lot of my songs. The only way to become, like, a millionaire in that city is if you're a dope dealer. Like. Yeah. It's That's one how of the, it is in a lot of cities. In a bro. lot of cities, yeah, it's, it's a lot like of cities, bro. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see a lot of my a lot of my friends and a lot of you know Mexican Americans that fall victim to this shit. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. they're young, bro. I'm 19 years old, so I'm a little bit. I feel like mentally, I feel like I'm a little bit older than a lot of these kids out yeah. here. But these kids are like 15, 16. Like, they pulled up, like, when we ran sessions over there, they pulled up to the motherfucking spot, like, talking, like, oh, yeah, we should buy one of these houses. Like, da da da. da. Full foot out of fat ass stack. Really? Yeah, That's bro. Crazy. Like, young go getters, bro. <laughs> hustlers, homie. Oh, out like, here? No, no, in, uh, in back Tucson, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in Tucson. Mm-hmm. It, because, I was like, what the Because f- it's, it's, that's all, that was the only way, probably. Yeah. Yeah, like, well, yeah bro. It's just, it's just crazy because. Like, I go back to my hometown, and, like, you can just feel, like, the negativity. like this, like, vibe where it's, they don't, like, the city doesn't want you to, like, prosper or wow. something. Like, the people in your city, even, like, they're all doing the same shit, they think whatever, but, like, the city itself doesn't want you to win, you feel me? Like, you come back, and you the just feel this that, pull and shit, like this. That crab this in a like bucket syndrome? pull, yeah. And then I come back home or to San Diego, and I'm like, oh, like, you can feel this weight. Like, lift get it off lift. your yeah, shoulders, yeah. yeah. You don't feel like you're being, like, followed or watched or, like, always, like, you got to be on your feet and shit because you come to san diego it's like i don't know the person at the grocery store and shit like back home i'm gonna run into someone whether i go to mcdonald's the gas station a bar like i'm always gonna run that's into that's why you don't be like, doing stupid shit though <laughs> like you don't be fucking people over you feel yeah. you always just kind of gotta go with the sense of like karma in this in this in this walk of life i feel and every time like you see somebody you meet somebody you always go with like a good conscience and a good you know heart yeah then you know what i mean your attentions you know will be seen as that thing you bro it, it's, you won't get hurt hubby yeah. in the city that you walking in i yeah. feel safe as fuck on the it, south side yeah. tucson i don't feel safe on east side yeah. <laughs> it's different like it's, it's a whole different it's yeah. a whole different area of you know of, of of tucson you feel what i'm saying but like when i live when i'm over here like in in dago i don't feel danger i don't feel yeah. like Cause you know, I know I'm not hanging with the wrong crowd. Like I'm hanging with you know people that love to make music. I'm hanging mm-hmm. with people that love to push forward and love to make careers out of themselves and love to fucking stay out of trouble with the law and have fun. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like be creative and be creative twenty four fucking seven and get paid mm-hmm. for it type deal. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And, yeah. and sleep in the studio. Yeah, type this of motherfucker <laughs> was passed out. I was out. <laughs> I was out, bro. I only have three hours of sleep right now. Just you know. No, nah, I walk in and young, you know that fool. One person sleeping on the couch downstairs, and then I come up, and then this fool's passed out and shit on the couch right here. Like Sergio was snoring, <laughs> and I heard that fool all the way downstairs and shit. That's what's so yeah. sick about this place. It's like a chill spot. You know what I mean? Like you can come chill downstairs, but like if you're working, like you get exclusive access to like come upstairs and like record and. Yeah. Three of one of three of the sickest studios. Like you got like young. You can fresh come on artists. this podcast. You can come on this podcast. podcast. You can activated. get this interview activated. Mm-hmm. You got Jay Watt right next to you. Like it's crazy. Like how many cool people come into this studio? Like yeah. Shout it's out. crazy, Man. like, well, and, it, and it's not Boone even League. technically open yet. Yeah, and so, it's technically not even open, man. We've had so, it's I not think, like it's not open, really. This is Bro, like exclusive. I've, I've met a, honestly, I've met a since they've done this like soft opening or whatever. I've met a lot of cool ass artists, you know. Um, uh, all I'm saying Nino. is people better like try and get booked in now because this yeah. time next year, like. It, it ain't gonna it's be It's gonna easy. be every day yeah. booked all every, day and oh, shit. Oh, yeah, like, you're gonna have to book like two weeks, three weeks, yeah. four weeks. Yeah. Months in advance. Yeah. Months, no, bro, months yeah. in advance, bro. I'm trying to have that shit months in advance. You have fucking. It's true. Like, 
with the the vision and shit, bro. Like it could happen. You got it, well, oh my bad. So once good. you get like celebrities, Fucking like even mic. celebrities who want to come out here, like they're in San Diego and shit, and like you you know you get connected up. They're like, oh, we need to go to a studio and shit. Like mm. you are gonna have to have that shit booked. And man. we got and we got studio <laughs> standard. Like we got studio standard sound. Like we got studio standard fucking monitors for mixing. We got studio standard fucking microphones. Like we have a fucking new man yeah. fucking. It's on. U85, it's bro. On. Like, that shit makes your Y'all voice sound crispy. That's yeah. Crazy. And we got Pro Tools and... Everything. Engineers. Engineers that fucking been at this shit Producers, for songwriters. Q- more than a decade. Q- like, you trying to way more than a decade. other engineers here? Yeah. One day. Uh-huh. Yeah, Maybe. you got engineers just, that have worked with legendary people, too. Like, that have worked with, like... I'm a renaissance man, if you didn't know. <laughs> I'm an artist, an engineer, an environmental engineer. I got my degree. Hey, really quick, yeah. yeah now that we thinking about that, we man, shout out to Q for you graduating oh, yeah. last shit, week. Gang shit. The we alumni graduated. You feel me? SDSU alumni. alumni. Oh you know Jesus Christ! Bro. Seven years, baby. Wow. Four years community college. Sick. Three years regular fucking college. What's your excuse? No, I it, didn't it graduate high school. It was tough. I didn't fuck. I I, I just didn't tough. fuck with school. I, I worked at Sally. Like, I was bro, hungry. I worked at Sally May, and it. that was it, bro. Yeah, hungry. like a mm-hmm. lot of people look at me and they're like, "Dog, why don't you just finish high school?" And it was, it's just, it's like, "Fuck high school, dog." You can, <laughs> you can just like get your GED. Though. I know. I feel you, and it's like. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I can't do it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit if here. If you wanted to. Yeah, exactly. It's just but like. if you don't want to, why? It's like the time and. The you know, timing of it's it. It's like, fuck, bro. Like, I'm finally being able to do what I love. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? Well, yeah. But you don't want to be. And I got to go to school? <laughs> <laughs> like, I could go to school Mary when Kate I'm like Nashley 25 or like when I'm 26. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Horrible example. Bro, bro Mary Kay and Ashley are fucking hundreds of dollars uh, or hundreds of millions of dollars worth of money, bro. Wow. Yeah, Mary Kay and Ashley, mm-hmm. bro, Full House. Full house okay. Imagine the royalties you get from Full House. They, I, they're fashion. I, what if they icons. shitty as fuck? Like, what if they like, <laughs> like, have you seen? That's my boy. Would like, um, they get like a vanilla ice in his royalties. Like, he ends up like owing money and shit. <laughs> like, like, what if it's, it's true that way, bro? Like, I don't know. America's fucked up nowadays, and they don't really give a fuck well, about people anymore. Is yeah, cut the industry throat. is really cutthroat. Cut you can't. You got to be on your toes when you're yeah, signing so shit like, with your masters. I'm. Bro, I'm yeah, always own my masters. That's the number one thing because you make the money forever. Like people, you, yeah, you be getting fucked and shit. Like all the like all the hot rappers right now. Like the label just gives them like three million dollars, but they gotta right make here. that back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like they bro, they gotta bro, make really sure the quick. album sales. Really it's quick, three million yeah, in the tours and the you know merch. I mean? and Otherwise, a lot of people that yeah. can't do that right now. Mm-hmm. Really the quick, the scene is to speak so on that, weird. Levar Ball said that, bro. He was saying that about how sports is today. I don't want to jump up too completely off topic, but his his message was the same. He was like, you know, but there's uh, an underground scene and there's there's so many other scenes. Like you have to realize this though. Like there's so many other scenes in music that like a lot of motherfuckers aren't, you know. Rap oh, yeah, the game, the game. No, it's rap, not what you've seen. The, the, the mainstream is so like the mainstream is so like oh yeah, streams, uh who who's 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 number one streaming, who's number one yeah. billboard, who's number one this, who's number one that, who has the most on here, who has YouTube the most on there. And, shit like and like the underground the underground is starting to mesh with the mainstream a lot because of social media, but yeah. um the underground's a little bit weird. I think there's like there's so many different categories of underground, you feel what I'm saying? So many different tiers and levels to like to this shit. And yeah. honestly, like there's so many fucking artists out there. There's millions and millions yeah. and millions of artists. Millions and millions of people that want to do podcasts. Millions and millions of people that want to fucking do Six, radio uh, shows. Activated podcasts. Yeah, you know strictly what I mean? Lit. And a lot of them don't have the fucking outlets that we mm-hmm. have. Yeah. So do you it's Okay, crazy. so do you make do you feel like it makes it <clears throat> Excuse me. Harder or easier to get on? Now? Harder. Yeah. But it's you harder. Don't, yeah, it's easy. It's easy. The people who blow get, up, it's easy to blow up. But I think getting to the point all your of being pins able to blow up, up is harder. Again, all your pins lined up and getting all your fucking shit lined up perfectly to like execute your plan. Like, 
you have to plan this shit months in advance. Like when yeah. they when they did like when they did Trippy Red, like they planned all his shit like months in advance. They planned yeah, all right, cool label, video, yeah. boom, this, bop, boom, bop. Like you know what I mean? They got all that shit lined up, and then now that fool has you know a little bit of longevity with his career. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Because he mm. has the weight of some mo- he has the weight of some of the f- he has the momentum. Of but some do of you his think tracks. Trippy Red is good enough to like? I don't think I feel like Trippy Red, Red. I feel like I Trippy, Trippy Red um, uh, the, has a lot of potential because I've heard I've heard some of his shit where he you know kind of raps and he kind of you know changes up the flow a little bit. Um, I haven't really I heard you know his ball. vocal range to like the <laughs> to like the point where you know what I mean like. Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, yeah, Trippy Red. You you you. you but do you, you listen that. to Trippy Red? Like, like, I, do you have Trippy Red? Like, see, when you play I'm, your iPod or different. your phone, you're I'm like, different. I'm different. Yeah, I listen to Trippy Red every now and then. You know what I mean? Like, I hear Trippy Red like every other every other fucking week just because I've that never shit's, heard a song. It's such yeah, heavy rotation. <laughs> you're old heard. though. You're an old head. Yeah, you're bro. 27. Like, <laughs> He's 20. You're there. about to be 28. Bro. I'm 19. Yeah, old as hell. I'm 19. So <laughs> when I'm on Facebook, well, like, you're like, like that's Trippy Bitch, Red's great. age and shit. Bitch, like, I'm great. Don't when hate Earl, when Earl Sweatshirt was coming up, he was my age. I followed them on Instagram. You feel what I'm saying? When did Jay Z become big? Because they're the scene. You feel? How old was Jay Z when he released Reasonable Doubt? 26 Fuck I thought it was 27 27 26 Damn, Okay matter. His first album His debut album 26 27 Jay Z But was, then you have oh, like bruh. You have Outkast Andre And Big Boy Who were like 17 18 19 and When they Lil dropped Lil Wayne Who shit. was 16 Wow Lil yeah, Wayne was exactly. like 12 what Rapping and shit With the hot I think he was shit. I think he was actually it's Signed big, at yeah, like 13 Everyone's Everyone's like Everyone's kind of Came in at a young age and I feel like back then it was a little bit more lenient towards people that were a little bit, you know, on the older side, like 20s, you know what I mean? And nowadays it's like, it's more, it's a little, like, well, ever since like 2000s, well, 1990s with, you know, with the with, with Criss Cross, they were pretty yeah. young too. I think but, that, um, like, rap is in the youth. Like, right now, oh, that's yeah, why you see been. the youth going crazy and shit. And that's who goes to the underground shows. And th- this is the way I... When I was Cause 19, that's what makes the money, I was the going to, like, Schoolboy Q and shit when he was coming up, like, big. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so... You, and, and then now when I see it, it's, like, um, people who are 19 I've who never, go to shows <laughs> or going to trippy shows or pump shows and shit. And like, so it's completely different era of rap, you know? They're both at the same level, basically, yeah. but it's been like six years later. So it's completely yeah, it's different. Trippy. It's, it's, it's really crazy trippy. how much it's changed. I feel like, bro, when it comes to like, but I saw this I'm coming. And I really saw this coming. This is why I feel like this, because I feel like, and I don't mean to like, you know, sound like a weirdo or sound like, you know, any type of way, but it's I feel like I'm are. better than these artists. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel well, like when I'm you better put than more these care artists. and more thought, I think you're already better. <laughs> because like I feel like some of them just like, <laughs> <laughs> like walk in the booth like one more kid, one more kid, <laughs> one more kid, one more kid. <laughs> Bruh, I mean like I I like some of that shit though. Like some of that shit get me lit, bro. Like no, and I feel that I I a hundred. That, it's hella. That's why I say raps in its punk rock phase because punk rock you had different drum patterns but everybody every punk rock band had the same pattern it was just different from normal rock yeah you know so it's like it's kind of like hip-hop right now you got hip-hop roots but they kind of just like everybody's in a way doing the same shit so you get a hello like one more again one more again and then the other artist gets Anna one again mo, one again Anna- mo one again mo like and it but it's, it's just different. It's punk rock. People it's like so wilding out at shows, moshing. They don't give a fuck. It's all about like completely the vibe. And rap hasn't always been like that. Under underground rap is 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 weird because underground the underground scene is almost exactly like the same blueprint as like the normal industry. You gotta know okay. somebody to know somebody to get here to get plugged in mm-hmm. over here to get plugged in over there, and it's like. You know, you got to find your pocket in where you work best with. And some of these motherfuckers is evil and some of these motherfuckers mm-hmm. is sharks. And you got to be a shark to swim with the sharks. If not, you're going to get eaten the fuck up. It's true. And it, in the it's, underground Especially right now, in it's, the it's, main it's, industry. And well, yeah. the underground, like, I don't really know, you know what I mean? But 
motherfuckers act like they don't even hear you. Motherfuckers act like they got yeah. the biggest ego in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, is to me, like, I don't even care. And I was telling you this. I don't give a fuck if you have 100,000 views on YouTube. For like, real. If you're making $50,000 off your music, okay, a year, then we're talking. You're like, but it, all these rappers, 50, they have 100,000. But 50, these rappers 000? have 100,000 views on YouTube and they're not worth shit. Like, that's cool. Wow. But, like, when you're really, like, deep, making moves and shit. Deep. <laughs> it's true. Like, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, like mind over matter <laughs> well, No, but that's the thing is that's why I think mind over matter is set apart than other people is because we put out an album and we're making money off of it. I'm going to yeah, have to pay that, taxes me... on my fucking music. Like, hey, these, speaking of that, these, let me hold These 100,000 YouTube views aren't doing shit. If yeah. you're getting show money, you're putting out songs where you're making money and then you're talking. And that's, that's where the money's at. At, you know what I mean? Because you're you're literally going to these shows. You're meeting people, shaking their hand. Hey, my name is Xavier. Hey, my name is this. Hey, my name is that. I make music. You're making friends with them. And ten times out of ten, if you make a friend with somebody, they're gonna like your music that much more just because they're your friend. You feel what I'm saying? And like when well, you're making that connection with these art, with these people, and with these artists, and with these you know listeners, um, you start to create, you know, a following and you start to create, and mm -hmm. you see this blueprint with a lot of artists, like a lot of artists recently from like 2000 and, you know, 10 up, you know, artists like Logic, artists like Disney, cult right? followings Art, like shit. cult yeah. followings, yeah. yeah, like. You don't even have to be mainstream, but like Dizzy Wright, Dizzy Wright isn't even in the conversation for people, but he makes hella money because he's, he's got that the shit. cult following. I yeah. fuck with Dizzy like, Wright, <laughs> and like, I be looking at his views sometimes, I'm like, bro, like, Dizzy Wright, you only getting like 20,000 views on your like vegetable fucking week and I'm like he's doing some like challenge and he's only getting like 20,000 views on YouTube and I'm like nigga I thought Dizzy Wright was like humongous it's different and and the industry's changed so much you know what I mean like to the point where like these people like Hobson and like these people like um um Kid Ink and like all these all these big names that influenced me and that I was listening to when I was going to middle school when I was listening to when I was starting off in high school and shit and going through my fucking walk of life and experiencing all this shit and going you know what I mean like when you have your fucking soundtrack to your life when you're you know when yeah, yeah. So who's your inspirations? A lot of people. A lot of people. Kidding? Seven Lagoon. That's fire. Yeah, Kidding is <laughs> shit, dog. You bro, don't realize how much. I remember Kidding coming up and like. Dog, Kidding. Oh, bro. Dog, bro, like, bro Kidding has hits. He was big hits, in Tucson. Hits. Kidding has hits. When Are you we think about the it. same guy that sings this, that has a song with Dej Loaf? Yeah, he's yeah. the one that also has a song with Chris Brown that came out in like 2013, 14. Uh, the one where um, he has they remixed that one pop like huge pop song. Show me, you gotta yeah. show, show me, bro. That shit show is fire. Me Come something. on, you know what I'm talking about. That shit's still on the radio. I hear that shit to this that day. Shit, that shit okay, came bro, out that like shit me lit, bro. Shout out Kid Ink on That's some real shit. Nostalgia, homie. Like that takes you me back to like summer fucking 2014. Bro, it's West Coast shit. People on on the West love Kid Ink, bro. Yeah. Kid Ink got that heat. I remember. Um, my homie who like Nick Main he passed away I remember walking into a uh, culinary class and being like yo this fool's fire like Kid Ink and shit he signed with uh, it was when Dat Piff was hot remember yeah. everybody got their mixtapes off Dat, Dat Piff, Piff and it was uh, what's his name DJ Ill Will or some shit DJ one of, Ill Will one of them or <laughs> some shit and like he signed him and it was just like this big ass thing and I'm like bro listen to Kid Ink and shit and like two years later he's Popping like on the radio and yeah, shit. Yeah, like it's popping. Cause dude. in Sac, it's hella bay music. Like it's all on the radio. I they opened suck. up for Kid Inked. Really, and it was crazy. Really, I was fourteen years old. Oh, this is why crazy. I bring this up because like when when I was a young kid and I was watching all my peers around me. You know what I mean? And they didn't they didn't know because they were so young. And now that I'm older and now that I know how Tucson is. In a sense, bringing back my point earlier, when I went back home, these pe these kids would they were younger than me. They were 15, 14 years old. I was thirteen. I was fourteen years old. They were like sixteen. They were pushing hard. This fool handed like twenty thousand dollars 
to this promoter, bro. We worked fucking hard, dog. Mm-hmm. We pushed hard. Like, the homie Diamante, the homie, like, we really pushed hard f- to make some money. Like, Ruben Pastor, all of them, they all really, like, they handed this dude some money, bro, and we performed on stage. I was 14 years old in front of fucking 1,600 people, dog. Like, one of my first performances ever. Like, the week before that, we opened up for Mike Studd and Futuristic. And, um... That same thing, dog. That nigga handed him fucking a fat ass stack of cash, and I was thinking in my head like, "Fuck, bro! Like, we're really just handing all this money away. Like, why don't we get a cut of this shit? Yeah. Like, we went out and we got all this money, we sold all this shit, and that's why, like, now that I'm in a in a in a different place in my career, you feel what I'm saying? And I've built a relationship with a person who's really familiar with doing shows and really familiar with you know the business side of it it's kind of better for uh for me because now i ain't missing out on all that cash yeah because all that cash is in the well shows are where us. it's at that's how you get money yeah you can play shows fucking three days for a week and fucking make bread bread like that's where all the like even the biggest artists make mm-hmm. the most money like beyonce grossing like 80 million off fucking Concerts. six months of a tour i mean they'd be working their ass off like yeah, it's yeah. hard to perform like even 20 minutes and shit you're like <gasps> by the end nah, those, and those motherfuckers is so fit bro yeah beyonce dancing and singing on stage for like an Coachella. hour is, yeah it's fucking athletic like as fuck yeah and like, people I don't understand that she be busting her ass on stage bro rappers hey. too like jay-z and shit we saw fuck. yeah the be- yeah hey. but it ain't like that go- though it hey, ain't- really quick time out that's how you gonna get your hunter your hunter follows hey speaking of that follow q at GDQ to one on we Instagram, almost, there. almost hey. at a hundred followers. Hey, okay, Beehive, Beehive, you see how he defended Beyonce like that? <laughs> they about to come through like, yeah. Shout out to the Beehive. <laughs> it's true, bro. It's so true. She, bro, and people don't get it. Like that is, I'm, bro. I just that's like as, picking with him, bro. That's like as athletic as like Tom Brady and shit. But she's doing it five nights a week, fucking an hour, bro. Fucking ten hours a week and just like sweat, bro. <laughs> fucking I mean, dancing, singing. Dog, I can see it. I see it, bro. And it's kind of turning me on. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but back to your inspirations, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like my inspirations, bro. When I was when I was in high when I was in high school, like I listened to artists like Logic, bro, and. I know, like, a, there's, a, like, a lot of, like, weird stigma around Logic, and I don't understand it. Like, I really don't understand it. Like, you listen to this homie's fucking mixtapes, you're like, yo, this kid is wicked, bro. Yeah. Like, immediately, like, inspiration. Like, you listen to my old songs, you listen to my old my old tracks that are on my SoundCloud, which I'm going to take off uh, <laughs> and make <laughs> private, um, because... You listen to those and you hear my inspirations right on my sleeve, bro. Like like Logic says, I mean, like I take so much inspiration from him. I take so much inspiration from Sylvan LeCue. I take so much inspiration from people like like Dizzy Wright because these are these were the people that were going to Tucson. These were the people that were going to, you know, mm-hmm. make you know a connection with my city and shit. So when they came and they were speaking, you know, to me through their music. By just coming to your city, and then they come to my city, and then they hear like, and the, I hear to hear him say, "How you doing, Tucson?" Like, and everyone in Tucson's like, "Wow!" You're like, "Bro, like, if they do that to you, like, shit, like in my city, like, I wonder what what they do for me when I when get you to that come level. back to your, you know city. what I mean?" And like, that's what like. You know, this like this. You want that shit to quench your thirst. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you hungry, dog, and you want that shit to fill your tummy. Like that's not not necessarily just the acceptance. You know what I mean? But like you kind of do want it. You feel what I'm saying? So you, you and it is what it is. Like sometimes that doesn't. That's not gonna fill you. You know what I mean? Your hole for happiness. But dog, I'll be able to say that I. I did that. You feel what I'm saying? And a lot of motherfuckers can't really say they did that. You right. feel? I feel that. How long, um, since we're going to start getting a little bit more into, like, who you are and whatnot, um, how long, <clears throat> how long you been doing this and, you know, what, what made you decide to? You know, I get, I get, I get asked that a lot, you know what I mean? And, and a lot of people, they look at me and they're like, 
how long you've been making music for, and they're kind of shocked to hear that I've been making music, you know, since I was, like, 11 years old, messing around with, like, software, and just, you know, experimenting with, you know, myself and being comfortable with being creative, and it first started, like, that whole being creative first started when, you know, I was a kid, like, the attention, you know what I mean, was sort of, uh, one of those things that really, really made me happy. You feel what I'm saying? So I'd be the kid dancing. I'd be the kid singing. I'd I'd be the kid trying to you know learn the rap songs that Fifty Cent was singing. I'd be the kid you know what I mean that was seeing Sean Paul. <laughs> you know I'd be the kid that make remixes to fucking R Kelly's Ignition. I'd be the kid like for, for real. You ask my sister like I'd that be that the, kid. That, that was, was me. the widest range of songs. For real, like <laughs> he said, Fifty Cent, R Kelly, R <laughs> Kelly, Sean Paul. <laughs> For real, like I remember those songs, bro. Like I remember I was a big Sean Paul fan. Like I remember I was a big Fifty Cent fan. Like I remember seeing I think 50 everybody Cent. was a big Fifty Cent fan. Yeah, bro. everyone's a big Fifty Cent fan because Fifty Cent's one of the, it's if not one of the biggest rap names. He yeah. is of all one time. Of, yeah. of all time, it's true. Bro. 50 His, Cent, bro. I was like, because that's because he like. The second he got a like that drop of mainstream, or basically as soon as he got somebody with some money, they were like legitimate money, like behind him, him pushing and him. M and Dre, bet like he took it and ran with it, and then to the point to where like I don't, n- not to make it sound bad, not, not to make it sound bad, but I I don't need them, I don't need them to. Do all of that anymore I'm self-sufficient now You? Me? Yeah mm-hmm. No I'm talking about 50 Yeah About where you 50 too. coming from I don't need Dre I don't need a Dre cosign oh, <laughs> I'm just I mean, kidding Dre cosign hey, <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you to do West Coast Dre I, I promise I I'm the white Dr. Dre bro Don't Bro I my drums it. are about to be insane bro Give me two more years I'm about to have the hottest drums I, in the game I, 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 I crisp, have faith in you Crisp <laughs> I My snares been, are gonna I'm snap, bro. I'm just saying, I don't need a cosigner either. But well, Fifty he took that cosign and just whoo, that's what just I'm saying. Like, he ran the same way, the same way off. Game did, the same way Game did, bro. Fifty Cent is like is owns stars basically now. No, you know I'm, that right? Like he that fool, bro. Yeah, he's, he's, he's made some different s- than Game. Yeah, Wait, no, I'm he's talking on a whole nother level. Yeah. I, yes, but I'm talking about the game. He got that gotta one co sign to get signed by G Unit by 50. Boom. Documentary did. But I documentary fuck with the game, is, bro. Yeah. The game I going hard. Game. Of course. We talked about the game with Dre Rushmore, too. Yeah. I, I fuck with the game. But hey, shout out Dre. 50's on a whole yeah, nother shout level. Out Dre Rushmore. We took that picture on the beach. Oh, yeah, cool yeah, sweat. yeah. We did that interview, too, at the yeah. beach. You know? Oh, y'all don't even y'all know. Y'all might see that. that. That might be. Y'all might. Nah, y'all may not. That shit. Y'all, like, when, when everything pops off, y'all gonna see that, like, in 2021. Like, <laughs> throwback of Xavier. Like, but, yeah, bro. Wow. Like,. I was Unreleased. just saying, like the game, the games that you know did the same Ultra approach. Rare but um, Anderson Pack is right now, <laughs> bro. Anderson, you don't, bro. If you don't fuck with the Anderson Pack, I can't be fucking with you, bro. Anderson Pack is fire, bro. Yeah, that's He's my the point. Next... Though there's so many dope ass artists out there, like uh-huh. sick ass artists, bro. And it, and a lot of them aren't getting the same love as some of these other artists. You feel nah, what I'm saying? Pack and is I think next it's up, bro. And I think it's because the wave. You feel the way everything's set up. Everything is kind of going to it is into its phase where. You know, you're getting the same sounds. Every fucking beat has a flute. Every beat has a piano. Every beat has a pad. Every beat has a this. Every beat has a trap sound. Every beat has a fucking auto-tune singer. And it's like, you know, with 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 artists like him, you know what I mean? He's kind of more of a lyrical, you know what I mean? But he still got that new age style. He's got soul he, he and got, shit. And, and it's just like a mix and it's a blend of some like new fresh shit where it's like, it's the only way. For you know the direction to lead off into, yeah. and there's so many other artists pushing and expanding the sound. You feel what I'm saying? And it's not it's not gonna be the same in a year from now. Like it really isn't. Like no. Well, the bay the bay sound is making a comeback. All the oh hell all yeah, the LA always. rappers are rapping on bay beats and shit. Everybody got the bay sound. 
Gotcha. I fucked up over here. Give me one second. <laughs> but uh, hey. I wanna I wanna say uh, I'm smack, You know what boy. I'm saying? Shout out and um to Santa Fe High School for that shooting. You know what, bro? I didn't know anything again. about that. I, I didn't sad know anything about it until like so. Um, Why shout out? I don't want to say the, thoughts and well, not shout out. Praise. I'm here to send your condolences. I, I don't want. Yeah, there you go. But like. For real, like I just wanted to talk about it and shit. I didn't even know that shit happened. What happened? I, I want to. You don't even know. No. Yeah. I don't know. Nah. So, um, just another school shooting and shit. Ten Fuck, dead. Santa Fe bro. High School. Ten, in Texas. homie. I don't want to say thoughts and prayers because we we be doing the same thoughts and prayers. So. Homie, like mm-hmm. check this uh, out. Cool. Like this 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 is how fucked up the United States is. Like. When I was going to school here, like not too long ago, like probably a couple months ago, like a two month a half ago, um, it was like my like last week there, and I'm walking into this hallway, and on the thing it says, "If an active shooter, please exit." Da, 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 da. And the fact and that like, you gotta see something the fact like I that. gotta see that right in the morning, homie, mm-hmm. on my third period, te- on my third period math teacher's door, and and the fact that uh, that my high school doesn't have, you know what I mean. A fucking English teacher to teach English, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and the fact that you know what I mean, like it's it's just so fucked up. You feel what I mean to like go through, you know, this country that we so call be a first world. You know yeah. what I mean, like have to deal with motherfuckers killing each other off of the most stupidest, insane, it's crazy. Uh, Hatred. It's just evil. Heinous. It's like, evil. It's evil, and and that's why I like. I don't know. This my, you know. I just true. believe in God, bro. I believe in, in in good, and I believe that there is evil. And so when evil does, you know what I mean. Um, yeah. happen. I mean, I I just you know respond back with positivity, and you know, prayers to those families. But it's I I I feel there's a lot of changes we have to make. It, a lot of people in the country, it's just adding up. Like, it's going to get to the point where everybody knows someone who was involved in a school shooting and shit. Like, that shit's sad as fuck and so tough. And the, and and the it's media. Hella sad. And the media is like a. And yeah, they're like, oh, bro, they love it. The media loves eats it. Eats it up. Loves it. Bro. Eats it up. Now they're pulling. 14 year olds who who were just in an active shooter situation interview. interviewing them that's fucked up fuck Bruh. the media for that fuck the media for that yeah, the media the has helped you, it, the media is one of the root causes of it bro yes it's it's yes, one of the bro. root fucking causes bro wait, it's, they if are you a notice, huge if problem if you notice anytime something well like Basically, when you go a, a a long time without nothing like national news type worthy shit goes bad, shit like that happens all the time. The second they feel like ratings are slipping because ain't nothing like controversial and they can roll with for like two three weeks, that shit happens. What the fuck? I don't know, bro. You throwing a wild statement out there, <laughs> and and that sounds like conspiracy. But <laughs> but no, it's it's true at the same time. Like the the media always needs something so that they can cover it, so who that they can. Who the fuck is a shooter? I who prom- the fuck is a shooter? Uh, some kid. Some uh, he's got like a Russian name, bro. Like Demetrius. Ah, uh, they're gonna play. Oh, they're gonna take this shit. To yeah, a whole bro. That's what I'm context, saying. Like, holy. why is it a Russian kid and shit? Uh, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, not only that, we have had Vegas eight months ago. Eight months ago, you had a guy fucking shoot into a crowd of 20,000 people, and we still don't know shit about it. Oh, yeah, some old white dude just freaked the fuck out and planned some 007 shit and fucking (laughs) brought 30 guns in to a fucking hotel Hotel. and and, and shot 20,000 people at a concert, bro. And don't nobody know nothing about it. We don't nothing. (laughs) And it's sad. 
sad. It's sad people, because this shit happened. Parkland happened fucking mm. two months ago, yep. and the media just nothing bro, for bro. a week. It's how long? Ooh, and then nothing. And then what happened to the Syria, And then North Korea. Yeah. And, and then Russia. Gaza. <laughs> and then Russia. And then like. It's fucking crazy, bro. What happened? Trump. I'll say, how long ago was the Waffle That's House That's why I don't shooting? watch that shit. I don't... Uh, th- it's so much it hypertension. Yeah. There's so much hypertension bro, to, in a society. 102 uh, mass shootings in the United States this year. 22 Fuck. of them were at schools. That's 22 crazy. 22 mass bro, shootings we're, at we're schools We're at the point year. now What's to up where with mental health in America? Uh, like, they, don't, bro, they don't care. Bro, it's... They don't care. It... it it doesn't matter. The crazier you are, the fucking better, bro. Damn. Bro, why is it the Parkland kid was investigated ways. 10 times by the fucking FBI or some shit? The FBI talked to the Parkland shooter multiple times. How multiple many times? times? Multiple. I don't know the exact number, but Well, he yeah, they got to talk to that mul- nigga. Like, they got to talk to him like, yo. Knocking on the door. But how many times have you had the FBI at your door? Like, obviously, this <sighs> fool's fucking crazy. Like, and he's FBI still, and he's got a gun. Like, I'm pretty sure he, he legally owned the guns that yeah. he used and shit. And he had been talked to by the FBI, and he still has guns. He's had known So you feel problems. like there should he's be gun reform in, in the United States? I'm, say I'm saying that a lot of the time, maybe even, and I don't want to hurt anybody who's Feelings. been affected, but if they really, like, if there's a conspiracy, it's that the FBI knows or they know who's going to do it and they just don't do anything. Until or they after. go and, and they don't care if you're psycho because it doesn't matter. Like, they, they don't give a fuck. Like, they don't know when you're going to go off. But they're like, uh, this guy's crazy. Like, who? he's going to do something, so we might as well just leave it alone because we want more fear. We want people to be afraid. We want you to talk about guns. We want the news to go crazy. We want... It's, it's fucking insane. Who? So you feel like these motherfuckers is, like, sitting at a table? Hmm. We want more fear. We want to pump the fear of God into these people. Yeah, bro. I to think, make money. I think that there's like people. People they love war. It makes yeah. money for them. Uh, there's a bunch of old white men. Shout in out charge. Tonic one bro. time. Yeah. My bad. Orange chicken. <laughs> oh, she oh, orange, orange chicken. chicken. You got some motherfucking Chinese <laughs> food. Hey. <laughs> That's how the, that's how we do it down here at Strictly Lit, man. Studio. Anyways, Y'all yeah. Know what he's saying. So I'm pretty it, sure people wanted you know to to know like, are you against it? Or are you not against it? Against what? Guns. Is it? There needs yeah. There needs to be something done besides what we have now. Bro, Texas is an open carry state and shit. So that's is Arizona. Wa- I know, but that's crazy. There's been shootings in Arizona. That um, congresswoman yeah, got mean, fucking shot. Yeah, she got shot in 2008. I remember that shit. Yeah. And I, there was another shooting. There was another oh, shooting. In, at a uh, school and shit, right? Um, they, yeah, I was one in, there was one in, in school. There was another shooting with um, see, Tucson. Uh, it's a very dangerous yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's very dangerous in a sense where it's a lot of criminal activity with cartels, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of weird, crazy people, mentally ill people out there too. Bro, and I uh, like and one of the guy, Iowa on, states, uh, really quick. I just want this will play to your point, and um, I think it's Iowa or Idaho. One of them. Basically <laughs> Those are the ones that everyone fucks up. <laughs> you said what? Those are the ones that everyone like mix up and shit. Like I don't Iowa, know if it's Idaho, Idaho. Or Iowa. one of the two. But either or, they've made it to where like even if you are legally blind, you can obtain a gun. Oh, a that's gun stupid permit. as fuck, bro, bro, bro. But you are legally blind. blind. Yeah, I know. Bro. And they're, they're, not only that, like. I'm saying start getting the fucking parents in trouble who fucking own the guns and shit and their kid goes in into their fucking safe and takes their gun out. Well, people are going to be way more fucking uptight about their guns if they could go to jail forever. Out the if gate. their fucking kid out the shoots gate. people up For and shit. Bro, and yeah, out right the gate. Out the gate. I feel like if your kid, to me personally, because 
I, I, I don't the know, bro. These me? kids be weird, <laughs> dog. These kids be beating their mamas up and shit. Yeah, like, that ain't well, me. Dog, that ain't it's me. always been and that, crazy. That, that falls back shit. on parenting, yeah. man. As a parent, and I, I don't have a kid. I don't have kids or anything, but I know that as a parent, bro. But you why? gotta instill. You gotta instill that yeah. fear into but their why? heart. This, in this, terms this is my like, question, though. This punishment. is my question. But these though. people who are doing it, bro, that. They've been fucked up their whole life and shit. Their parents yeah, but, are fucked up. They're crazy. But They're by on fucking... is it by society? Like, is it society that's making them feel this way? Hell like, yeah. Like, are these people like victims in this in in this sense where they're like they're being bullied, bro? They're being bullied. They're being made felt like they ain't shit. So they fucking lose I their shit you. and then they go I kill you. everybody. I feel you. He, he, I feel he, you. He, uh, it's I've been bullied too, but I ain't. I ain't, but I ain't gonna but kill I'm nobody. But besides like, the bullying they've got something even worse in their fucking head like you yeah, said they're but evil, like everybody evil. they're literally yeah. evil okay. in evil, them bro. like like there is okay you There's have two to different be types fucking of motherfuckers crazy. yeah you have to be fucking crazy no matter how mentally ill you are to, to go to a school and, and shoot, shoot kids. kids and same with my bad sandy hook like you have to be fucking on a whole nother level to go into an to my elementary point, school though, like before mac you know changed his topic um that 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 dude in tucson though he killed like seven people in his he killed like his cousin, he killed his mom. He killed the killed like a lot of people. Then he killed himself, and it's like that's another shit, man. That's, that's that bitch. That's shit, man. and that's it the is. main. I hate, I hate hearing it's about hella shootings. And shit. He, hearing about shootings, and then they kill themselves. Like you yeah. a whole, you was already a bitch, well, but you really it's a because bitch the after the world that. pissed them off, yeah. so they have to get back at the world. Like For that. Real. and then you the kill yourself is, before yeah. they get back well, exactly, at you. Exactly, exactly, mm-hmm. because they mm-hmm. the world made them feel that like way. they want to kill themselves, so they're going out with a fight and shit, and they're doing it their way because they never lost. had control. And then you lost. Yeah. You, what? Either way, you it's still some lose. Pussy shit. Yeah, exactly. But you still lose. Like, and and in America, like the most death is by suicide by gun. And other no, than I, that, I don't, I don't other than talk about suicide. Other than that, other than that, that's why I fuck with Logic so much too, because he talks about that type of shit. And a lot of rappers are like tiptoeing around that type. Well, of and shit. it's weird. Join for- Lucas and he Logic about are beefing. Too. Yeah, yeah, but, but the that kind is, of beef is whack. That type yeah. of beef is corny. <laughs> well, Joyner Lucas said Logic took I fuck with Logic, that idea, and, and I shit. fuck with Joyner Lucas. But whatever. But in hip hop, it's you've always been a pussy if you've talked about that, or you've always been. It was like, like that. In you're not hard too. if you don't exactly. But that's why. That's why I love how our athletes are stepping up because there's never been a generation of athletes more like politically active no, and understand there's more. Been, there's always been you no know. way like LeBron. Well, the there's biggest a lot athlete more. There's a lot more. Saying, but that's because president now. is never happened. But that's. Because it's the power of social media and stuff now. Like, if Bill Russell or Muhammad Ali had social media... Then be, they'd be using hashtags like a motherfucker. <laughs> Muhammad Ali and shit. Bro. <laughs> Muhammad Ali uh, for, the, for, the, for the people. Bro, imagine him really tweeting, like, like just, just uh, what do you say? I ain't no... Ain't no Viet Cong ain't never done to me. Oh, you yeah. my oppressor when yeah. I want. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, imagine yeah he, when he I'm he home. Tweeted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 People, you my oppressor. People would go would crazy. Brrr, brrr, brrr. Like people would go. How insane. how, rem- like, how memorable that line is? Just hearing it from the movies. Just hearing it when someone writes it down and quotes it from him, like in speeches. Bro, and imagine shit. if Doctor King and Malcolm X had Twitter. It Dog. would be crazy. I ain't gonna flex. That would be some dope shit to see at Malcolm X tweet but, by but any means necessary. But they were able necessary. to do things and make changes without social media. So what the fuck is going on? Like Social people, media is people, blinding people. It, it, what social media does is it takes away your attention span so yes we're, we're not making changes because two days three days four days later we forget about the shooting and it just keeps on happening but our attention spans are so like this Ga-ga. that it doesn't fucking matter <laughs> it's true straight it, up fucking caca uh, ass fucking <laughs> we have the fucking attention span of a goldfish so when muhammad ali says that and dr king said those kinds of things people 
really felt them and they yeah. felt some type of way about yes. it and instead well, we feel course. some type of way about it for 30 about seconds fucked up shit we're talking about like people getting treated differently just because of what they look like and where they from well and it's it, but it's still around like this these shootings this and shit, stuff this shit is, still is exists big, it's is still big. Ex- it's gonna go down in history bro wow. well this time period of police brutality and school, school shootings, shootings and mass shootings and mental health it's this the time fall from, from, of america it's, it's happened well after 9-11 and shit like after 9-11 these next 20 years are he gonna be in the history books he forever. doesn't remember 9-11 i don't remember 9-11 i'm 19 years old you gotta so you realize were, this how old i was were you? Two, two years old bro yeah yeah I was, no i'm just saying it's crazy i, said it, the, him, I yeah. said it to him the other day like bro i was like it's so crazy but that you're about to year, you're about to read about something that i experienced yeah. every you see what year I'm saying? Every year afterwards, I saw that shit. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. he doesn't remember, so that's why it's crazy. Because that's all I'm saying. It's yeah, like it's crazy. But, yeah, because he grew up, we grew up before it. So yeah, I remember are, life you, before. You're 27. It. Yeah. I'm 20. I'm about to be 25. You 25. I'm 19 years old. My brother and my sister are um 25 and 23. Yeah, so th- they they remember they remember they were in like shit. second or yeah. third grade I think. Or yeah, no, they, they were probably in like third or fourth. It, but like everything I said, I was in, changed, and then when you go to 2010 and 2010 to 2020 are gonna be fucking ridiculous, in, insane. Like ridiculous. in the history books, just that's, like we're gonna be gonna so riddle it. fucked Bro, up. You you know how every decade is riddled by something. Whether it be uh, heroin epidemic too, that's the great, fucking bro, huge. The Great Depression bro. was huge the 60s, right? right now. Huh? The Great Depression was the was 60s. No, 20s, there was, there bro. Was another, there there was so many 20s. different recessions. What was the 60s? The 60s was a civil rights movement. Okay, but something else. There's a lot of when shit was, in the 60s. Yeah. Korea War. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, of yeah. shit. But you, and you have yeah, Iraq, right. Afghanistan, Syria, our, inv- our um, intervention cool. in the Middle East. The first, the, the first decade of the 2000s is going to obviously be riddled by the war on terrorism and and all that other shit weapons of mass destruction 2010 to 2020 is gonna be you just gonna label Whoa, it fuck shootings. that shit yeah. hey shootings how, police brutality right and bro they fucked a generation up that heroin epidemic fucked a, our entire generation up a lot of motherfuckers not just our generation but my uncles homie yeah. like you know what i mean my uncles they were some cool people and then time is so fast, homie. I be tripping out at this shit. Like, time is so quick. Like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, boom. bro. Like, and, you blink. And, you and blink, and it's three years down the road type you shit. When you wait till they calculate the death tolls in America from in, heroin, in 10 years from heroin, fentanyl. police brutality, and school shootings, it's going to be in the millions, bro. Millions. That's I don't it? know, bro. It I will. think I think at least bro. I think I think hundred thousands maybe. No heroin no. because you are, are, are fifty thousand oh, a year. Yeah, heroin fifty. Deaths yeah, alone. my bad, my bad. Heroin, but I don't know about school shootings and all that shit. Like all bro, that, that shit. Shit's as a, bro, just think. How, what number are we at now, bro? Uh, th- how many have it, has it been? This well, year? it's not gonna pick over a hundred thousand, bro. It it already has. I guarantee it, bro. Just Since from heroin uh, overdoses, bro. Since two, my homies I, have been. Bro, my homies have been addicted to heroin since 2011. I know like 30 people, not personally, but between people, 30 people who have died from heroin, uh, from heroin yeah. just in my city. And you go across all 50 states. The when you have everywhere. you coming from Tucson, you coming from Indiana, A lot of people get the heroin fucking from Tucson. Uh, people from the East Coast. <laughs> well, th- the thing is. <laughs> It's All like right. you add them up oh, and it's a wrap. No, Tucson's Tucson's a big dope city, bro. I believe Hell yeah, it's it's a, it's a border town, bro. It's a border town, bro. It's not sad. necessarily. A it's funny, town, Dove, but Dove said that he was like loud pack on one of his raps. He was like loud pack fresh from Arizona, mm. and now I actually know somebody from Arizona who can actually confirm that. <laughs> yeah, the homie sleeping over there is that he got some loud pack from AZ. Huh? Where we at? Oh. 
We're at an hour, bro. We're chilling. Mm. Okay. We're chilling. We, we, we could good. go. We, like, good. we Gucci. Hey, hey, this is a good go one. We can hey, go man. for uh, Straight up, two man. hours. Again, bro. We're about to go for three hours one day. <laughs> I need a three-hour episode one day, bro. Hey, we can make that happen, but yeah, Some y'all Joe already Rogan know what shit. it is. The Activated Podcast. Activated. Sponsored by Streets of Media. Six Side, man. Hey. GDQ. It's your boy Mac two three zero one. GDQ the one. GDQ Follow the me. one. Is he on right now though? Y'all already know what the fuck it is. Strictly lit up in hey, this man, bitch. Hey man, hey, go ahead and let them know, man. What you what you working with? What you got coming up? But we got a lot of shit coming up. We gotta um, you know what I mean. Work on this uh, little EP that I got for y'all. It's gonna be uh another um, let's chill tape vibe. It's gonna be a whole nother. You know what I mean? Um, you know. Walking you into um, my my state of mind around this time of my life, um, the Let's Chill Tape, you know, EP. Um, a lot of people really fucked with it because it was my first like body of work that I really Where put together. They, they can find all that on SoundCloud. They can find. I'm about to I'm about to put all that shit on private though. A lot of those songs are on private because a lot of that shit is super personal and I feel like I need to revamp that and I feel like I need to redo a lot of that shit. But um I'm yeah, we on. got a we got a BET contest. Um uh we're gonna be doing some shit at the BET BET Awards, like in, in that general area. Um fucking videos. This podcast is gonna be up for y'all. Um you know new music in general just singles after singles after singles and so really quick on your uh shows on your on your new project that you got coming out is the intro song i'm gonna be on there uh it's called freaks and mobsters right speaking of that <laughs> yeah. yeah that was that that was the homie right here um what is one of his new singles, uh, Freaks and Mobsters. Yeah, I produced that too. So that, that shit was super cool and super fun. And it up. was super simple. Like everything was super simple. And it was just the whole vibe of the song and how I record it. But um, that shit will be on the EP, I feel. Um, you got a date? The date for the EP, um, I have to get some shit done for uh, this BT stuff a little bit earlier. But... Um, the EP should be done within right. like a week and a half, two weeks, three weeks. Um, it really depends on how the mixing and mastering sessions go because a lot of the songs are already finished. We just got to mm-hmm. mix and master them. Mm-hmm. And I like being there. I love being there. When you mix? When you get yeah, your shit Yeah, I love being there mastered. because yeah. I'm looking at the, the producer do it and then... You know, when he needs to go use the restroom or whatever the case may be, I hop on the shit and I start Take listening it. and start, yeah. you know, experimenting and shit and, you know, further the project and shit. So that's what's uh, up. That, that's it's really dope because I would have never imagined, you know, being able to do the things that I'm doing now. That's like, awesome. And, and I was a kid, bro, looking at my older homies like... Bruh, these dudes are over here manipulating this fucking software like nothing. I'm like, bro, fuck, dog. Bro, watching Ow. people are like, crazy. bro, watching like uh, J Wad and watch you and Zanny like do all that shit. I'm like, I had no idea music game? could be so complicated. <laughs> bro, like, like, it's hella game? complicated. I don't know what. It's bro. hella complicated. You don't just put your voice on or put instruments on there. Or it's shit. crazy. It's crazy. Imagine when people didn't though. have software and shit, bro. That was all fucking hardware and shit. Turning knobs, throwing your reverb on, cutting yeah, fucking frequencies. Big ass fucking. Woo! Hey! We in sunny San Diego. That's all I Six thought it was, was just you recording shit and they tweak some little, volumes. Just fuck with the volume? Nah. Tweak some volumes and then boop, bop, the bam. You got a number one single. No. <laughs> Bro, you can mix for Psych. hours. One song, you can mix a snare for hours. Yo, I was watching uh this one thing, and me and Tonic were talking about it, and Tonic was bringing to my attention that uh what was that one thing? It was that one show on Netflix with uh Eminem, Jimmy Iovine, and Dr. Dre. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're talking about how they're in the they're in the fucking studio trying to fucking mix this snare, and they're in there for like three fucking days yeah. trying to get the perfect snare mm-hmm. and shit. Like that's how. 
different people's workflows are. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm telling you guys, like, it might take a then, little uh, bit. Like, I, I like, didn't Jay-Z you, have to have the Timbo most important come in. part of music? Mixing? Did, yeah. No, okay. Kanye had had Timbo come in and do the drums on okay. uh, Power or some shit like that. Okay. Or Stronger. On Stronger. Because he said that's his drums stronger. be separated like crazy and shit. And he's... I mean, Timbo's got crazy ass drums. Yeah, Timbo like, is the shit, crazy. bro. You hear that motherfucker beatbox? Oh, his I synths and shit hey. are crazy. Because ba, 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 because ba, ba, I feel ba, ba, like y'all ba, ba, both will fuck ba, ba, with this. I'm like ba, ba, falling ba, ba, asleep, homie, because it's three hours. Of st- I'm like, Nip. I got I got a top I got a top five for you. What? So top five yeah. Timbaland beats? No, top oh. five producers and engineers. Well, engineers too, or. Either way, let's just let's keep it simple and do oh, top, top five, five producers. God damn. Right. See, this Pharrell, is what I hate. Because Tim, people judge you on your trivia. Pharrell, Timbo, Dre, Young Guru for that mixes Jay Z shit. He's mm-hmm. uh, Jay Z's engineer and then mixed by Ali because I'll do a little mix of both engineers and producers. Um, all right, cool. My producers would be um um I like I like I like Cardo Got Wings. Yeah. Um, didn't he do that one track with uh, Drake in, in the game? A hundred. One hundred. Yeah, one hundred. He did. He did. He did he's that one. He did, he's done hell of shit. But like, I always knew about him for a minute, and because of the homie Zanny and shit. And Zanny's one of my other favorite producers. But um, Zanny he got came bars. up with Wiz. Cardo came up with Wiz. Okay. Yeah, big had, time. Yeah, all the, of them. That was his ma- one of his main. And producers. I remember watching. I remember watching his videos. The with day his, today and shit. yeah, with the yeah. golden, with the golden. You know what I mean? The golden team and shit. And I was like, watching that and seeing all these, you know, people come together and, and make dope ass music. I was like, yeah, I want to do that. But uh, another producer would be. Um, I really like. Um, like who really gets me like in that zone is Mike Will. Like yeah, Mike I can Will feel that. Man. I can feel Dog, that. Dog, that shit sounded pretty good, bro. Who? That was just, you, you almost did it perfectly. <laughs> oh, no, say so don't ask me to do it again because I probably won't build. So. <laughs> That's usually um, how that shit works. Uh, I like um. Who else do I like, bro? Shit, I like um. I like seasick. I don't know who that is. C-Sick has done a lot of shit for a lot of different artists, like like Logic and shit. He made oh, okay, that. Okay, okay. His main song. producer. No, no, no. No. Uh, not not six. Not six. Oh. Six is also dope. I like. I also like six. Um. But you know, fuck that scene type of shit because they're they're so big. You feel and I like. I know so many other producers. Who are who are smaller than that? Like, you know, people that produce for themselves and only make their own beats and shit. Like Tom Genius. Yeah, like Tom Genius. Yeah. And like Zanny. Hey, that's uh, that's the yeah, dude you gotta meet too. Tom he Gen- said he's Tom gonna Genius. come on the uh, podcast too, man. Shout out Tom Genius. Shout out Tom Genius. Shout out to Walter for not being here. Oh if yeah. You guys notice where the fuck the is Walter? Both interviews we've done, Walter hasn't been here. Walter. So, Walter be fucking up. We gonna roast you yeah. Oh late Not having your shit together <laughs> ass Oh Oh I can't make you it oh, After you said For you fucking oh, week Oh not yeah. coming to meetings Oh <laughs> Talking yeah. about getting sponsors But <laughs> Can't make it to a Ooh, podcast ass Oh the roast is real Yeah Out the motherfucking gate Um Who's hey, your top five producers I don't, to be honest, like, I don't really know a lot of producers like that. Like, I, I oh, do. Yeah. But and Jay Dilla, that's straight oh, motherfucking you like Dilla facts, homie. Fire. I love Jay Dilla. You know why I love Jay I Dilla? I also shit. like DJ Quick. I love DJ, DJ Quick. Quick is DJ fire. Quick is the shit, <laughs> DJ Quick and shit. Um, uh, DJ Quick has his. Dre. Dre is the shit. Crit. Crit, Crit is fucking Crit has amazing. Bars and bars on the beat. No, yeah. he's just he's just phenomenal. Like yeah. him sonically love, in a room is just. I love me Crit. some big Crit. Crazy. Oh, um, Pharrell, cause Pharrell, Pharrell, Pharrell had, had that. Pharrell had that like. You, you may not really remember it, bro, 
I like, remember that it. early two thousands, bro. Like Senorita, I feel we're bro, not gonna do this again. We're not gonna sing Senorita again, bro. Uh, senorita, so for real, Crit, Dre, you. you do hey. them things. That I gotta you keep it trap. It goes Zaytoven. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was, I was gonna say they told me about digging, bro. Bro, shit, when he huh? came to park, Fire. when he came to park, yeah, bro, it. I was working. Hey, 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 turn it up. Thought I was back at the crib, man. Type shit. Uh, Zay told him, and um, yeah, Senorita, I feel. I can't. I can't no, really think you of. You don't uh, sing it with me. I'm blessed. I don't know. Uh, see, I can't give Metro. you. <laughs> Metro. <laughs> Metro. Boomin Metro be booming. Metro be booming. But uh, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, so that'd be my five, man. That'd Southside. Be my five. Southside. Soundwave is fire. A A Soundwave is 808 here. Mafia. How oh, they going all crazy? Hey, shout, shout out, out to, to all the producers. Shout out to that nigga Dub, man. Because Dub be producing now, too. Yeah. Dub, shout out to all Dub. Anyone who produces yeah. your own music and raps or sings but over it, you're so, raw. You're raw. Mad it's, respect. It's so like. Mad respect. It's so uh, I be like, producing and shit. Yeah, I should have said me. GDQ. Uh, jazz yeah, too. My producer like, back in me. sack, bro. Yeah. That fool's fire. That fool's Jazzy. so fire. Shout jazz. Jazzy, Shout out man. jazz again. You feel me? It's Lamesa, different though. We in this bitch. Hey, so really quick before we start like wrapping it up and whatnot, you gotta spit some. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who said it. Let's do it. I don't put artists on the spot. Uh, Fuck it, I do. Uh, let's try it out. I do. Y'all got like beats and shit? No. Um. You want a beat? <laughs> I to, really need one. You want a slower beat? Or I want. You want I want some beat? chill shit. <laughs> you want some some dancey shit? No, I want some like. Uh, Who, who produced this joint? Oh, you did? I'll rap on you. Oh, damn, bro. That's like super dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you wrong. Hey, hey. Every time I hop on a beat. She follow and she follow me uh, Something on her mind, let me find Shawty on my fucking line When she call me all the time Every freestyle I've been this winning for a minute Gotta get it for the young Stay connected out southwest You know we stay out, yeah Feeling like my feelings too gone Got me feeling in the sun Shawty say she know what's up when we get to pulling up, get me on my SoundCloud, blowing on that good loud. Hit me on my PayPal if you need the fee. No, no, not for free. Bitches wanna see what it means. I just pull it to the scene, change everything for my people and my younger. Get down with the functions, and you know we really bout it, so you know we get to dumping on Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'ma fuck your mama. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I got a rap, homie. Give me a beat, homie. What's up, dog? DJ Snake shit. Rest in peace to rest in peace to Avicii, man. Get me on some real shit. We gonna we gonna spit some bars, homie. Hold this. Ah, uh, hey. Ah. Uh. Focus on my dream and progression. Ever since a young and I was trying to teach the lessons to the adolescents and teach a message. And I ain't even understand why these young stressing. I was always on the grizzly, young Izzy. Spit it like I'm dizzy, right? Fill it with my lyrics on side. All my's really bout it, so I know you really doubt it. Came from the fucking south. West Tucson, T side, where I reside. Open up my mind on that fucking seat to drive. Where I seen hostage situations. Trying to make my own type of flavor. Fuck the altercations. I ain't throwing fists, but I'm a knuckle throwing asshole. Who got it all? Trying to fucking get their bankroll. They trying to sell your soul for a fucking pot of gold. Pick your poison, yeah, I got a few, so let's buy 
dominoes I just got flows, that's what I need Baby, no, sir, yes, you wanna follow me I ain't give a fuck about no bitch or a hoe I just keep it fucking real, as you motherfucking know yeah. This is freestyle off the motherfucking dome So I'ma keep it going, so you know these rappers straight up clones I ain't give a fuck what they saying I ain't care what they thinking I ain't care what they playing I ain't care what they hearing Cause everything they thinking is interfering You know I gotta get it like a passing experience They gonna get it like an interception Know my people on that grind ever since conception Gotta make it for my mind So you know I say this Do you wanna play this? Bitches on my playlist Say it is the greatest Hey, this Just the young and on this I'm trying to make his own So you know I wanna get the key up <laughs> Hard Hard is he on right now, though? Is he on right now, though? Know. Hey, he was spitting that hot that fire, bro. Hey, bro. I I fuck. Fuck. Hey, both Interface. beats. Mike, both so beats. bad. That was... You Those were what? both produced by me. I'm glad because mm-hmm. I I didn't think that anybody could rap on them. Put, <laughs> no, no, no. I knew like because no. I was gonna rap on them. You feel me? But like I'm glad that you fucking killed them and shit. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, <laughs> you true. killed I just it. like rapping. It's just fun. You know what I mean? Like fuck, dog. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Yeah, we'd be breaking again. shit over, going crazy. Hey, one more hey, for real. Hey, back. No, nah, when, he, when, nah, when he played that first one, I was like, fuck, dog. I need to go one more again, dog. <laughs> <laughs> for one real, more dog. One more gig. I don't know, dog, hard. shit. Um, anyways, we got a lot of shit coming up for y'all. We got a lot of fucking music coming. It's going to be on iTunes. It's going to be on Spotify. It's going to be on all the streaming services and shit. We do got a song on there right now. But you guys can follow me on my SoundCloud. It, Xavier Isaiah. I got all my music. I got like 50-something tracks. X-A-V-I-E-R. I-S-A-I-A-H. Simple as fuck. Sounds how it's spelled. Xavier Isaiah. Shit. I don't know, man. I've, sp- I've seen Xavier spelled pretty weird. But yeah, I feel you. Of, yeah, but like, I feel you. I'm, I'm, like my artist name, like a lot of people tell me like, why why, why you want to call yourself Xavier? And like I had this, we had this altercation with, with uh, my manager about how, how he wanted to change my name and shit. Cause right now my name is something different on my iTunes and shit. We gonna change that. We gonna fix that problem though. Cause um, I want my name to be, you know what I mean, something you know personal to me. Because that's just you know what I hold it as. I went through so many names and I really feel happy with the name that I chose. And at the end of the day, like Xavier Isaiah or Isaiah Xavier, either one fucking works. Like you know what I mean. And people know that's me. Like there's no other. There's no. There's no, there's no like fake. You know what I mean on yeah. either end. Like I'm Isaiah and I'm Xavier. Like you feel, it's not a, it's not an alter ego because I've been working at this shit so hard. Yeah. And I've been trying so hard to get to a certain place. Like I remember, bro. Like I legit remember fucking dreaming about this shit when I was a kid, man, and thinking about what I can do with just my voice. Yeah. And there's so much more you can do with with your voice nowadays, especially with social media. And that's why I feel like social media is a good thing, but a lot of a lot of motherfucking things uh, that people use it for are evil as yeah. fuck. Hey, yeah. too much right of way. a good fuck thing. evil, homie. <laughs> too much of a good thing can be bad. But, um, um, you were spinning that. You got some fire. shows. That was some uh, five fingers of death shit. Nah, yeah. not really. I'm that shit was sway. pretty funny. <laughs> I'm the new sway. You the new sway. You don't uh, got the answers, sway. Now nah, we ain't spinning bars like that, but um, I make music like that. Um, I don't care what people say about sing, me rapping rap, and shit. You can but produce. produce. We make mi- we make hits and we make music. You know what I mean? We don't we don't we don't go for it. Like wake up. How Try to make motherfucking, motherfucking hits, nigga. Yeah, like <laughs> like the. The way I could compare it to, you know what I mean? Um, like, Ray Schremer said it, like, perfectly. You know what I mean? Like, they ain't worried about too much of what the other sound sounds like. And, like, that shit, that shit really spoke to me because I feel like I'm at this part of my in, in my career where, like, this sound that's really popping now, like, it's the perfect mesh for me and it's the perfect mold for me. Like, so this you're about is, to blow. Like, yeah, it's the perfect, like, mesh for me. Like, y'all looking at artists like that, like, I feel, I just feel it, bro. I just feel like it's, it's too, it's undeniable. It's undeniable. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you sit back and you listen to it and you're like, yeah, that sounds like something. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying? But with my, with my music that I make, 
that's super organic and it's super like you know what I mean. Let's chill tape vibe. Let's chill. It's like it's new. Oh, what the fuck? I haven't heard this. This is refreshing. And you hear that with a lot of my music, a lot of, a lot of my older music. This music's not even old. It's like 2016, 2017. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this is me rapping over like fucking jazz beats, but like weird jazz beats talking about crazy things about my consciousness and talking about relationships with my brother and how he was a fucking, uh, he was a, he was a, a, a Muslim and how um, people treated him like shit mm-hmm. and how we ignore the fact that the blood and gore over shores is, you know, out of sight and out of mind. And, and yeah. I talk about some deep things and a lot of my music now is, is, it's more of like a, a, a fun, you know what I mean? Um, um, you know, just having a good time, you know, I'm trying to find my sound and trying to experiment with so many other things because I feel like when I really sit down and I really get down with this album, I'm really going to talk about some very deep topics and I'm really going to get into depth with some shit about my life that a lot of motherfuckers are going to connect with, you know what I mean? And look forward to it. I look forward to it. I don't even got the title for it, bro, but I got a whole concept for it. And, um, The concept, I'm not really going to break it down, but it's going to be, you know, point of view story from a a man's life, you know what I mean? And and it's it's a man's life that of a person that's really close to me. He's he's a father figure. He's not really, you know, blood related to me, but, you know, you know. Blood don't mean shit at the end of the day, you know. So it really don't. It really it don't. Really so I'm gonna talk about some very, 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 you know, crazy, you know, um, stories. I'm gonna put you guys into a cinematic part of what I feel like I can get an angle from because I know some crazy shit of what you know what I mean of what I've lived through and what my parents have experienced, you know yeah. what I mean? And what my brothers and my sisters have experienced. And I feel like I can relate to a lot of people because a lot of people know what the fuck we've gone through. There's a lot of people that have been through the system. There's a lot of people that, you know what I mean, um, that have been to fucking group homes. There's a lot of people that have fucking seen fucking uh, alcohol violence and fucking... Um, uh, drug abuse with their family members and yeah. you know fucking all that types of shit so I'm gonna talk about these types of things because mm-hmm. these are the things that are that uh, need to be addressed for me yeah. yeah and hopefully you know my listener can you know really um soak up and take it you know what I mean as you know me talking to them as well you mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying if they're going through some shit and that's I think that's what music music should be about. Music, you know, it's fun when you're doing the fun shit and you're talking about bitches and t- titties everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Like it sounds cool. It sounds amazing. But like at the end of the day, you want your listener to come back to something wholehearted and real and something authentic with substance, so they can feel like their money is well spent and um, their time and and their time and they're they're enjoying the song. They're yeah. really enjoying the song, you feel? And I want my people to feel that way when they hear my music. And I feel like that's one of the things I really need to work on, but I feel like I got the hang of it at the same time, mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying? Because every time I hop on a track, it's something new, it's something fresh, it's something new, it's something fresh, it's something new, it's something fresh. And I feel like once I revamp, <laughs> they all turn it up, fucking kick each other's ass on Mortal Kombat downstairs. Hey, hey bro, Tonic is undefeated. We're gonna bring we're gonna bring to you guys like behind the scenes footage of all this shit, maybe, of Tonic whooping people's ass downstairs. <laughs> so um, <laughs> stay Mortal tuned Kombat. for that. You got the tournaments going on down there, bro. Yeah. Um, hey, so Hey, yeah, Xavier, let, bro. We, gonna, we gonna end this shit. We gonna we yeah, gonna finish this yeah. off. Shout out yeah, to uh, Activated. Uh, Shout out to Activated one know, time. Got, Six side. So. Hey, but before one last we topic. before we do man uh shout out to one Walter. more time no you know let them know where they can find you at all your social media all that kind of stuff um, one more time my instagram is is on right now though sounds the way it's spelled um and um my facebook is isaiah xavier morales and my twitter is is he on right now though? <laughs> <laughs> and my SoundCloud is Xavier Isaiah X A V I E R I A I S A I A H. Fairly simple. Um, 
I got a track on Spotify and iTunes. Make sure I go check that out. Pull up, Young Xavier. Hey, hey, hey! hey and really, go peep uh, out that track, Freaking Monsters. Ugh, I'm a, really quick before we end this. You know, I yeah, want to. Yo, thank uh, you guys for having me too. Yeah, you guys are fucking hey, dope. Out the gate, out the gate, bro. Already, you already know, you know you're gonna uh, be back on one day. I do want to spend a special shout soon. out and a happy birth b- birthday to our late great influential friend uh reginald green um today's his birthday he passed away last august and um rest in peace you know that's that's kind of well i can't say kind of that's where the name came from uh, the pod- podcast activated because reg activated reg activated um he definitely I see why now he he picked that name because he's definitely activated yep. a lot of things mm-hmm. in people's lives. So you know, from my from the bottom of my heart, and you know, to Q and to Walter, who unfortunately couldn't make it, to Third Flow, to every everybody that that he touched. Man, we love you. We miss you. We will not let your name die in vain. You already know it's Reggie forever, and you know, but with that being said, well, hey, you got something uh, yeah. to say? Uh, uh, you got it. I just want to say oh. that this fool uh, really, like, influenced, like, how some, some way I think and shit. And I remember this fool being like, we were talking about, you know, some shit going on. And he's and I'm like, yo, I'm, like, lightweight scared and shit of, like, what, what the future holds. And this fool is, you know, like, nah, like... Nah, son, like, uh, you can't be scared. Uh, that's how they want you to feel. Yeah, yeah. my shit's been all fucked up. He's uh-huh. like, yeah, I, I, you can't you can't be afraid. They want you to, you know, be scared and you to have fear and shit. So don't be like that, like you. And so after that, like, that fool really changed my outlook on shit. And instead of kind of Instead of, of like looking down on the there, ground, yeah, you was looking back. up. Yeah. yeah, fight back and activated. That's what it's all about is, you know fighting back and doing you know following your dreams and shit Mm -hmm. and that's what that fool is always doing and shit and so like i feel like even right now that fool is looking at us and shit and yeah this shit's all fucked up but that fool hella you know influenced even right now and shit and i feel like this fool is here with us and shit all the time and wanting us and if that fool was uh, still around yeah. he would be okay, sitting right. right here with us and shit and i'm like you biggity you biggity 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 yeah. biggity come bitch. on son so <laughs> yo, on, dead ass. i'll never yo, forget this ass. fool Facts yelling me. at the cop saying you know i'm from Fuck brooklyn through, son <laughs> yelling at the security guard yo, <laughs> like honestly, i'm from son, brooklyn honestly son yo i'm from brooklyn, brooklyn <laughs> so <laughs> shout out to yeah. brooklyn and hey, shout out man, to reggie shout so. out to my motherfucking nigga reg yeah. green so bro. happy birthday i don't know who you are reggie green but rest in peace and um I send my condolences to your family, real shit. So, oh, yeah. shout out to his mom. Yeah, yeah. so too. thank you, yeah, we, we like, to you. that fool and shit. We love you. For we really you. being inspirational and shit. Yeah. Hey, strictly lit, bitch. Hey. And you're taking activated to the next, next level, level for you, bro. So. Hey, but y'all already know what it is, man. Shout out to strictly the activated lit. That's, podcast that's how, that's how live from strictly lit entertainment, strictly lit studios, man. It's your boy Mac two three zero one. GDQ Make sure you follow the one, me. motherfucker. Follow uh-huh. Six Side, Six Side <laughs> MMA. Media, you smell these me. are the, these are the social Shout media names. Man. Follow all of us. Xavier yeah. Isaiah. Mind over yeah. matter. Izzy on right now. Momentum. Q. Renegade Izzy coming right soon, now. motherfucker. Hey. Renegade. Y'all already know Renegade, what it is, motherfucker. Activated. 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 My mama's we ugly. Activated. Yeah. Renegade, motherfucker. Renegade coming soon. Hey.